Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about how select your acknowledgement is working in TCP. So first of all, select your acknowledgement means for an example, sender sending 500 bytes of data to the receiver. So the sender will send with, for an example, sender will send with 5 segments each segment 100 bytes of data so the sender sending the 500 bytes of data to the receiver so the receiver lost the third segment that is 301 to 400 these bytes of data receiver lost so the receiver send and selective acknowledgement for the third segment they are mentioning 301 to 400 bytes of data i lost so the sender resend that particular segment only so for that reason only we can use selective acknowledgement in case if if the receiver not using selective acknowledgement means they are requesting for third segment so the sender will send third segment fourth segment and fifth segment also so this is the first time you are watching my video means please go through my previous concept regarding the sequence number window size scaling factor and everything so after watching that concept so you can watch this concept so you can able to understand what i am saying and what i am showing to you okay this is my uh, wireshark capture file so just connect my uh, wi-fi connected to my laptop and uh, through my laptop i capture this file randomly so just we can go through this file i will show it to you how select your acknowledgement is working okay okay so here in wireshark if it's showing red color so the font is red color and background is black color so here we can see the tcp the packet number 68 so 4 is a server this is a client so this is my laptop ip so here we can see the tcp previous segment not captured okay so just double click that one so here we can see the sequence number is 2825 and TCP payload. So the data is 1412 bytes they are sending and sequence number is 2825. So the next sequence number should be in 2825 plus 1412. So next sequence is 4237. Okay. So before that, here we can see this is a three way handshake. So after getting three way handshake, the receiver not receiving the data for an example 1 2 so directly they are sending the sequence number 2825 so that means first two segments they are not receiving any data so it's getting the third segment so that's why they in wireshark itself they mentioned tcp previous segment not captured so here we can see again the receiver the, again the client sending an acknowledgement the tcp duplicate acknowledgement for 65 65 indicates the packet number 65 here we can see packet 65 the sending the acknowledgement one okay so come this packet acknowledgement one so here they mentioning acknowledgement one and come below so in option section tcp option here we can see left edge and right edge so left edge means i got received the data of 2825 bytes to 4237 bytes now from acknowledgement one means from 1 to 2824 i am not receiving that means two segments first two segments i am not receiving like that meaning so I got 2825 to 4237 bytes I received but I missed 1 to 2284 so likewise this acknowledgement meaning so next one next packet you can see TCP out of order so out of order means you have to open this packet now again the server will send the packet so the sequence number is 1413 plus this 1412 if you add it means you will get 2825 is a next sequence number so here there's they are sending this second segment 
so again you can come to here this is the second segment of data so again the client will sending an acknowledgement in that acknowledgement they are saying so here we can see the acknowledgement number is one still i am not receiving the first segment so come to the option section so now the left edge so previously it's showing 2000 something now we can see 1413 to 4237 so these bytes of data i received so now they are saying first segment is last so the acknowledgement number is one i received from 1413 bytes to 4237 so up to this range i received but i lost one to 1412 i lost so again next the server will send tcp fast transmission so in the tcp fast transmission they will send the first segments here we can see sequence number one and tcp segment length is 1412 so you can add it you will get the next sequence number 1413 okay so once i receive the first segment the client will respond to the server acknowledge 4237 so the 4237 in first segment itself they send from 2825 plus the data is 1412 so next sequence number should be in 4237 but the client not received the first two segments so that that's why they will send the tcp duplicate acknowledgement one and they mention i received from so in option section i received 2825 to 4237 but first two segments are i not received so i am expecting acknowledged number one means the first segment as well as second segment because 2825 to 4237 i read i received but 128 Two, four, I am not received so likewise meaning so the again the second segment they got received so after receiving second segment so again they are sending the acknowledgement still I am not receiving the first segment so here they extended 1413 to 4237 I received so likewise in TCP they will uh, the client will requesting the server if they lost any segment means they will send the acknowledgement uh, TCP duplicate acknowledgement and they will mention which portion to which portion of data I received so on which portion is not receiving so likewise they are asking for the server to retransmit that uh, last segment so just come here again so here we can see the packet number 392 so in 392 also the TCP previous segment not captured so just I click this packet so in this packet they are saying the sequence number is 42,756 so the TCP length the data is 347 so if you add this one this is the next sequence number okay so duplicate acknowledgement for 390 so 390 means just go this side packet number 390 so in the 390 the client sends an acknowledgement to the server acknowledging 41344 so the next set of data should start from 4000 sorry 41344 but i received the data bytes from starting from sequence number 42756 so they lost the segment so they will send it acknowledgement duplicate acknowledgement in that acknowledgement they mention um, the acknowledging for 41344 so starting by should be there but i received as of now 42756 to 43000 uh, 43099 bytes i received but i lost between 41344 to 42756 this segment i lost so likewise they are sending the selective acknowledgement to the server so the server immediately sending the tcp out of order so in that segment they will send the last data 41344 plus in this segment they are sending the data as 1412 so if you are adding this one your next sequence number should be in 42756 so now we can receive that segment now the client sending an acknowledgement i received everything so 
in, in that acknowledgement only they mentioned 43,099 I am expecting next one. So again the server sending the sequence number 44,511 plus 1,412 the next sequence should be in 49,923. So we are not receiving the previous segment. So the previous segment should be in 41,344. It will be starting with 41,344. Sorry, 43,099. It will be starting the segment. But here I am receiving. Here I am receiving 44,511. So I lost that segment. So again, they will sending the duplicate acknowledgement. So I am expecting 43,099, but I received 44,511 to 45,923 segments I received. So from that acknowledgement, they are saying uh, 43,099 to 44,511. In that seg data segments, I lost. So again the server will send that segment in that segment they mention 43,099 plus the in this tcp segment they are sending 1,412 data so if you are adding 44,511 so this segment we already received in the first one so they are sending the final acknowledgement 45,923 bytes okay friends so likewise in tcp the sender and receiver they are sending the selective acknowledgement to get the particular segment of data from the sender if they lost by the receiver. So this Wireshark file I will attach in my, in my description. So you can click that link and you can download this file and you can go through it. And also if you are installed Wireshark in your laptop also just connect internet and just browse something. So before browsing you can start Wireshark and browse something. And afterwards you can stop capture and you can analyze this packet. So definitely in your uh, in real time there should be in some TCP. Uh, selective acknowledgement will be sending and getting the data. So likewise we can analyze through the Wireshark. So you have to practice more on Wireshark to check that packets. Then only you can learn this concept thoroughly. Okay friends, if you have any queries, please ping me in the below comment section. I will reply to your query and thanks for watching my video. So next video session, I'm going to upload about the UDP header. So this is the first time you are watching my videos means please go through my previous concept. Then afterwards you can watch this concept. Then only you can understand. And thank you for watching my videos and subscribe my channel for further updates. Thank you friends.